Hey, it's Dorlene, and I'm actually going to attempt to make a kit using supplies that I have. So I have this um, paper scrapbook kit from what is this Echo Park, and I've used most of the paper already, but I really like the color scheme and the outdoor theme because I'm going to be creating an album of all our hiking trips that we did in the year 2021. So, um, as you can see, I used a lot of the stickers and everything already. I did already gather some things that I had in my stash. These are just kind of random stickers, really just that one and this one. Um, I have some stamps that I can make my own um, embellishments, but I definitely need more papers. So I'm gonna go through my stash. I'm going to use this as my color guide. I'm not gonna um, film when I'm going through my papers, but I'll come back and I'll show you what I decided to pick and, and explain a little bit why. And if I find any embellishments besides the ones that I already have here, which were some cut out trees that I've had, oh my gosh, for years. I mean, years. I, did, I used to do a lot of swaps back in the day and that was one, it was an outdoor theme one. I've got this moose with the camera. Isn't that so cute? And I know that's Cricut. So I may even go to my Cricut and cut out some um, like titles, things like that. I'm going to a crop, weekend crop retreat. My daughter and I are going this weekend or next weekend. <clears throat> and so I really want to be prepared. Yeah, these will be perfect for um, the hiking that we've done. And I just want to show you real quick that I did also participated in a different swap where I created this and that was using one of the stamp sets and then just kind of layering it but so this is kind of the look I'm going for some like earthy tones greens yellows even orange if you notice on my pattern paper blue um definitely browns would bring scour like through that. my loose papers that I have and I might have overshot on some of them, but again, I'm packing for a crop. I'm creating a, a kit. Um, hopefully I, I use some of these pattern papers, um, but if not, that's okay too. Anyhow, so these are some that I grabbed. So I know these are really bright colors, but I liked this with the wood grain and these colors right here, I thought matched pretty well. And even the love, this is cute. And a matter of fact, we were hiking on Tuesdays because for that summer of 2021, I decided to take all every Tuesday off. And that's what we did. We went hiking. So anyhow, I like some of these boxes. I don't know so much about this one, but anyways, I thought that was cute. Same with here. You can use some of these to cut apart. And then this one, I'm going to kind of leave this here so you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see that. But I thought this stripe paper really worked well because it has that like navy blue, the orange, which is kind of more like a, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's not a red and it's not an orange. I keep wanting to say paprika, but I don't know if that's actually the word or the color that I'm thinking of. But that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to say. Um, good greens um, and even this lighter bluish color. I thought might work on some of the, um, with it. So I had two of those. So I went ahead and grabbed both because again, you know, never know, just pack it for the crop. I think I'm going to pack a lot. And then the same with this, it has that kind of orangey kind of salmon-y color, not necessarily the color scheme for the papers, but if you notice on some of the blocks and some of this, and I didn't show you the sticker sheet because I used a lot of stickers, but there are this kind of salmon color, but I also like this because it was very take an adventure, you know, get lost, that kind of stuff. And the color or the sheet that I saw right next to it had these arrows. I, I don't know why, but just the arrows make me think of outdoors. So I pulled those. Um, I just saw a scrap of yellow and this, now that I'm looking at it, that, that's very yellow. So I might not include that. So I'll put it over to the other side. And then here's some yellows that I grabbed. I like this because it wasn't too pastel, but yet not real bright like this one. Um, so I grabbed that and another kind of darker mustardy yellow. 
Oops. And um, same with this one with the polka dots. Um, green's always good. A paper pad. So I grabbed it because it also matched with this green, which is just polka dots, which again has that kind of um, paprika color and orange and yellows. And then this lighter green um, matched really well with something. Um, I don't have it in front of me, but one of the cards. And again, it's all part of the same pad. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then I saw this sheet. God, I don't know. Some of these sheets are so old. I don't even know. Do they have years on them? 2004. <laughs> so that's how long it's probably been in my stash. But it had one of the greens, oranges, you know, same color scheme. And then if you look, that's all, um, you know, journey, you know, miles, travel, goals. And just kind of, I thought some of these words might look good. Just even as um, just a fun little uh, extra embellishment for the pages so I went ahead and grabbed this one like this one know your limits but never stop trying to exceed them like that would be really good for one of our <laughs> hikes literally climbing up we had like like rocks and um I was really close to the top but I legit was like I can't do it anymore I told my kids I can't I'm just gonna sit right here and I'm talking maybe eight to 10 feet away <laughs> from the top but I just thought if I push myself I'm gonna fall and I just really honestly felt that so I didn't want to do it and my kids were like mom you are not getting this close and not going up there and you know what it was you're right I do too I took my time but I did it so I was really happy um anyhow so I grabbed this one as well just because it's you know trees a little bit different color combinations but the green is really good I thought it also has a background um this one was just a scrap piece and it has a bunch of different color greens also with that kind of light blue which you can't really tell here but on this, like i said some of the cutout cards and the stickers there is a light blue you know and again i'm just kind of building the kit and if i use them i use them if i don't i don't i'll come in and put them back in my stash or i might just leave them there maybe they have one of those treasure tables where you can um, leave things which i definitely need to do this is some green wood grain and then I found these realistic papers just with some skies again I don't know if I'm going to use them it's not going to hurt anybody if I do or I don't wood grain again not sure if I'm going to use it I just I'm not sure how it really works with hiking I know that sounds a little weird and then I just grabbed some random browns um I only had the one sheet of this I have two sheets of this kind of graph paper um And then just some card stock just to have for matting and things like that. And then these are just like white with brown because I figured brown was a good choice as far as um, complementing um, ledger paper. And then the rest is just card stock. So I'm going to stop here and then before this video is done and before I post this video, I'm going to show you the layouts that I actually made with the kit and um, hopefully you recognize some of the papers and um and we'll be excited about that so here we go thanks if you're not already please hit that subscribe button down below give me a thumbs up definitely that would help my channel to post a video at least once a week and those videos are focusing on crafts that i made in the command center the command center is the name of my blog because that's the name of my craft room so please go to my blog which that address will be down below and uh, check that out i'd appreciate it all right bye come back for the layouts